a simple color scheme following my previous Necromunda color schemes. Um, this is a full video of how to do it, but obviously if you want to skip to the end because you've seen it before, go to the end and we'll see what's there. Um, please like, please subscribe, leave a comment, whatever you want. Let's get on with it. So the last of the spraying's done. Now I've kept things kind of partially built just to avoid overspray onto these top parts and onto these parts which I've uh, which I've filed down. So I filed down quite a few bits and just made little notches into some of those and then sprayed them in um, in in big lumps just just so that it avoids that overspray now as you might know I'm gonna be painting these uh, with, they're, they're gonna get some paint on them so I'm not too worried about any light gray patches they will be covered very easily in the rest of the painting process so here we go with my Reeves Red Ochre um, and I'm just going to show you briefly how I do this. So that's how I do it, nice and quick. Uh, really messy. Some bits get a lot, some bits don't. Some panels get filled in, some bits don't. Um, I try not to leave too much of the paint on the uh, on the on the bits here, because obviously there's going to be something going in there, isn't there? The uh, the attachments. Yeah. Once I've done that, I'll come back. One thing I didn't say is I do try to colour along the tops just to keep them all the same. The rest of it doesn't really matter if it's slightly different to the next piece um, in terms of coverage. But um, I try and keep these bits, these bits on top the same. I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Um, so all of these little caps I've put onto a pillar Quick brush round, cover up the grey bits, quick brush round, take it off, stick another one on, off we go. Um, and although it is boring, tedious work, it doesn't take very long. As per my neck room under um, uh, terrain, all of the doors are going to be yellow. And so, go in hard and fast with a bit of yellow. Not all that worried about coverage because that is covered enough. I just want them to be able to be seen as yellow and then they'll be weathered back. To, to their final their final dirty grungy self so I do do make sure I go round it all round all the sides um, which are going to be seen make sure these hinges get done so that's about the standard of the painting that I would do um, yeah, on all of them, so they're uniform. Keeping things the same as my uh, Necromunda terrain, these pipes are going to start white and then uh, just highlighting 
some of the lights um, and some of the details as well with the white that we'll just go over at a later stage with maybe a different colour, maybe not. Here I'm just going to go over screens in white so that the colour, when I do decide what I'm going to do with them, the, um, the colour can pop out a bit more so it doesn't need to be uh, doesn't need to be well painted just a quick cover okay lead belcher so silver just quite heavy over some of the details but not all of them It's just rough, it'll get washed down and then and then some of it will some of it will disappear, some of it will show through. There's a few plasma coily things that um get a kind of a brush round with blue just in um just in preparation for something a bit uh bit smarter after it's all been washed and weathered just so that the base colors there for it so I quite like um, bright red for, for tanks and some of the barrelly things I think that looks good as always you might think I'm being a bit slapdash, but it doesn't matter. It'll it'll all come out. It'll all come out later. It'll all come together with a wash. It'll all come together with some final weathering. Um, it'll all look good. So I like to go back in on the doors and anywhere else actually, just with a, a bit of red, just to weather up certain just to maybe where where the yellow's covering a bit too much just to give it that look of a bit of rust so now the last stage before um, before a wash is this beautiful orange fire dragon bright now I've changed my recipe for rust and grime a little bit and um, and how I'm doing it now is instead of with an orangey wash going in with some orangey paint and quite heavy dry brush along the bottom edges of things going inside the doors uh, we do get a little bit a little bit higher up Um, and this is much quicker than waiting for my orange wash to dry. As with all the steps, um, the great thing is, is that it all gets um, all gets dulled down when you wash anyway. So some bits can be quite bright, some bits can be quite dull. As you just catch a few bits here and there. Now these are washed, gonna move on to uh, dulling down with my brown paint. Now I go over with my super thin, super cheap brown paint, just dulling out some of the colours again. Oops, that went a bit too far, didn't it? going over some of the rust just to just to make it look um, even more dirty so we have the red that I'm going over and the yellow that I'm going over and dulls it down and 
Oops, sorry. Didn't see didn't see that there. Go through all this really quick and it's really messy if if anything goes wrong I know I can fix it and actually nothing really goes wrong because it just gets it just looks more dirty which I don't think is ever a bad thing when you're doing this so finally some details some of the screens and then Carefully, but but quickly. Some wires. Um, so some of the screens, some of the wires, green. Some of them will be blue, possibly some bright red. Um, and then that'll be pretty much it. So now it's all dry. It's very quick. Um, overbrush to reinstate some of the yellow but uh, being careful he says putting loads of yellow on being careful not to overdo it too much so I want all the grime there still but I just want the yellow just to pop a little bit more again. So here we are. This is what's finished. It's all come together really nicely actually. Um, there's a few bits that I'd like to change. A few, a few details that I'd like to, to add and, and uh, also dull down. But on the whole, looks good. This is on one of my Necromunda tiles, but obviously once everything's done, put it onto the board. Um, like I say, this is just what's finished, so I thought I'd leave it like this. Please subscribe, please like, please put a comment up. I try and answer all the comments, even if it's just a thanks. And uh, I'll do a, a whole board once it's all finished.